Good morning, folks. Top story is the hot springs near the 7.7 earthquake and continuing aftershocks in Canada. Just had another one, actually. Those hot springs have halted since that earthquake. It's as mysterious as it is troubling. Just as one space weather satellite is set to lose orbit and burn up, here we are staring down the barrel of our next warrior ready to monitor nano flares when launched here in a few days. Also this, Hyper Report does a daily video like my 2 minute news but on these topics and it's always interesting on that front. We had a 5 pointer near Kamchatka yesterday and another one in Alaska. The Northwest Caribbean took a larger than average tremor and this morning a larger quake in Kamchatka. Still safe so far this quake watch. One buoy in event mode, I was inclined to consider these rapid jumps as air, but we keep seeing it happen between only two or three detectors all owned by different agencies. The lone tropical storm right now is Rosa and she is benignly churning up a lonely little storm out there. The low over Europe will keep those clouds spinning and Atlantic moisture moving onto the land, the last 24 hours precipitation, and what's on the way. Western Australia is dealing with crop damage due to hail, a lot of damage in only four days. Meanwhile, South Queensland is content to keep breaking every heat record they have, and here's a look at what's to be expected. U.S. pressure map sees dead sandy top right and a confined low over the breadbasket. Freezing cold air is still racing down onto the Midwest, wind also rushing into the low pressure system, and at the convergence, you know what to expect. That's our lone winter weather watch. The gray fog advisories will lift by mid-morning. I left you yesterday not knowing if geomagnetic storms would ensue from the CME impact. They did not, but the yellow indicates instability. Fluxgate magnetometer shows strong disturbance in the strength of the horizontal magnetic field as the reverberating CME induced ground currents and planetary resonance from the baseline here. Our shields went down and solar plasma penetrated our system at the red spikes. Only bit of good news is the F1 critical frequencies are low during these events. The dark coronal hole is turning past Earth-facing position, so its stream is already headed this way. We have no seriously dangerous active regions, and the primary concern is the thin, dark, writhing plasma filaments. They've been worse than flares recently. Eyes open. No fear. It's about 6 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.